We're going to be setting up a business card with Spot UV for print, and here's how to do it step by step. First, head over to the swatches panel and click New Swatch. Rename the swatch to Varnish. This is what we we'll use to indicate the areas we want to coat. Now, when you're preparing a file for Spot UV, it's really important to use a spot color. Change the color type to Spot Color and leave the color mode set to CMYK. This tells the printer exactly where to apply the glossy finish, like over a logo, text, or any specific design element. Using a spot color keeps the UV layer separate from the rest of your artwork and helps avoid confusion or printing errors. Just remember to clearly name the file either Varnish or Spot UV. Use a highly visible color and set it to overprint fill so nothing gets knocked out in the final print. There are two ways to do this. One is with everything in one file and layered, which is the method that we're using. If layered, the layer should be called Varnish or Spot UV. The other is if your vendor requires a separate file. In that case, they will likely require you to use 100% black. Once you've set the color values, click OK and check to make sure the Varnish swatch appears in your panel. Next, open the Layers panel and create a new layer. We will name this layer Varnish as well. On this layer, we'll place everything we want to Spot UV. For example, we're going to apply Spot UV to a name on the front of the card and a pattern on the back. Start by copying the element you want to highlight, in this case, the name. Then switch over to the Varnish layer and use Paste in place. This ensures perfect alignment with the original design. Select the copied item, go to your swatches panel, and click on the varnish swatch. And that's it. Now that element is marked with spot UV, you can toggle the varnish layer on and off to double check what will be coded. Once everything looks good, it's time to save the file. Go to File, Save As, choose PDF, and select high quality print. Make sure marks are turned off and bleeds are turned on and set a 0.125 inch bleed to your cards. And there you have it. Your business card is now set up and ready